I can continue to say this over and over again. You do say these things to your students, but it's up to them to actually perform and actualize this stuff. When I start to do this, make a pressure, and then the guy moves very fast, I gotta slow the game down. I'm here, and now I got it. I, I, that, it looked fast, like I kinda, I would actually, it looks kinda fast, like I gotta move because I'm at the right time, but once I make, meet my objective, I gotta think about slowing the game down. And, or, and then I move, and then I, can, I tie them up again with my weight. Okay, because the moment you think you're gonna move fast with somebody, and you're gonna keep up with them, as you get older, <laughs> or injury left or right, it's gonna slow you down. So it, I really, in this whole game, maximize your weight, your grips, and um, your angles. And I really like this one position of just starting here with your partner and be like, okay man, let's go. And you'll see that a lot of times the guy, the guy will come up on his elbow, and then you're hugging the body, or you know, you're like, okay, let's go, and he starts to move, go, go, go. And you're just, you're just moving. Look here, he didn't even, he didn't give me a fight. I've already passed. So it's like he's got to, you're going to see that a lot of guys are going to start to hook, hook the legs and really try to move their hips now. Go, go, go. Good. How is, why am I keeping on his side? My grip and my knee back here is, is keeping him tight. That's what you don't see. He feels it though. And then he, he turns. Go ahead, turn. Good. Now I'm like, okay, now we're here. What is my objective? I could either take my head to this side, switch, or from here, I can tighten the legs out and scissor his legs. Now this is a great, a great technique. He sits up. You see this sometimes after a tackle. Like you're here and you, you trip the legs out here. Boom, nice and tight. You start to turn, scissor the legs. A triangle, okay? This is an older technique, but you see Jake Shields do it a lot in MMA. So I always say to my friends like, you know, that are new to Jiu-Jitsu, I'm like, hey, do the Jake Shields. Because from here you can start to pass. See, you get tighter, hug the neck, you actually can climb up to the mount. So have fun with this. Smash pass, you say, okay, man, go. Let's try to keep the guy's legs, okay, he's, I'm starting to lose it, I'm starting to lose it. There's my pass, good. There's my trip. No, I'm, everything's tight. I can lock my legs. Even better. Okay, fight from here. Push, push, push. Eventually, if I don't get to the mound, he's going to make some resistance. Good. He, he got it. Good. Boom. Good move, Tony. Where, where should this hand be, Tony? Here. Right. I'm pushing him down. Yeah, good. Good. I'm coming this way for a reason. To lose the hook. And I win. Good job, though. Now, let's look at what else can happen. So keep in mind that drill. Now, I've taught you to do it this way on it for a reason. Every time I did this with Dell, I pushed into him, I pinched the knees, and then I moved my, my chest back a little bit. Then my chest took over, and I was able to smash him down nice and easy each time. Look, no resistance. I did this so you can just practice pinching the knees and switching your hand grips. Here. In a real situation, when I go like this, what's Del going to do? He'll push it back. Or if I start to do this, he'll open up his legs. Then I'm like, and this is where people get fast. Again, another reason for people get fast. They start doing this, boom, they make it real tight, they're real concerned, maybe they have the lapel, and they're doing this, or they go up the pants, or they go like this, and then right when they get there, they're well, they didn't get to the smash pass, but they got here. Or they went to here, and then it's like, oh, fast. They're like, and they're making all these quick moves. Okay. Del Juan's going to do that. After you pass the guard a couple times with your friend, they're going to start opening your legs. They're going to, you're going to start to feel resistance. So something that I do every time, uh, except in this demonstration and, and, and teaching right now, because I want to teach you just the handwork, is this. You, know, you can do something else from here. Since I can anticipate that he may open his legs or he may like bring them back, I need to have an equalizer. 